Today's video is going to be a makeup video and I'm really really excited because I haven't done a makeup video in a hot minute and uh, I love me some good old makeup. So today's video is going to be directed for busy people makeup. So this is essentially just a really nice bold look but with minimal products and just stuff that works really well and you know you can get a really nice glam look but for you know not taking too much time hopefully so yeah that's what today's video is going to be i hope you guys enjoy it and if you are new here don't forget to subscribe and you can click the bell for notifications when i upload i really appreciate it and uh, if you want to see more makeup videos from me in the future give it a thumbs up because that totally helps out my channel and helps people find this video and just to let you know before we get into the video this video is sponsored by rimmel london and i'm super excited about that i've never actually worked with them before and i love a lot of their products so i'm really excited about that and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. The first thing I do before any makeup look is prime my skin because I do have very dry skin, so I like to choose a little bit more of a hydrating primer and something that'll fill in my pores. Moving on to my brows after this, I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Brow This Way Fiber Pencil, and this thing is so cool. If you look at the tip of the pencil, it actually has little fibers in it, which is kind of crazy, but this is just a really great pencil to fill in your eyebrows and to really define them, so this is kind of always my first step when it comes to brows. I like to kind of define them, you know, go over the edges and fill them in slightly. Not only do I really like the color match to my eyebrows with this pencil, this pencil is also waterproof and humidity proof and meant to last up to 24 hours on your brows so they are not going anywhere my eyebrows definitely have a lot of sparse areas so next i'm going in with the brow shake filling powder from Rimmel london and this is a really cool product as well all you have to do is shake it up to get it going you can use this to make a really bold look or keep it really natural this is meant to just fill in your sparse areas the applicator itself is really soft and really like flexible and easy to use so you can really get that sculpted look you want and then after that I'm just taking my eyebrow spoolie and blending everything out and the final step for my brows is just setting them with a similar colored brow gel and I feel like brows are such a good place to start when you want to do makeup or maybe you're in a bit more of a rush because brows are kind of important and even when I do lesser makeup days I always end up doing my brows because they really do shape the face and make you look a little bit more put together. For me personally, when I'm having kind of busier days, I want something that's just gonna last all day, cover all my imperfections, and really even out my skin tone, so I'm just going in with a super glowy foundation, something that's a little more dewy and appropriate for the summertime, and just blending that out. And then I'm using a bit of concealer on my under eyes, around my nose, and on my blemishes on my chin, because nobody likes to see those, so I'm just blending all of that out. That's always a must for me and uh, definitely something I don't skip. If I don't wear foundation, I definitely do wear concealer. Now we are focusing on the eyes for this look today, but I'm not going to be doing any eyeshadow, so I am just taking a little bit of powder and setting that foundation that was on my eyelid kind of as a primer and I'm also just going to be setting my face slightly. I know this foundation is quite dewy and like glowy, but I do want to mattify a little bit of my face. For me personally, my go-to when I want to look like I'm really put together and have a kind of glamorous look on but don't want to take too long, I always opt for a winged liner. So today I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Scandalize liner. This one is waterproof, it holds up to 24 hours, it's smudge proof, and the applicator is really neat. It has a little bit of a ball tip that makes it super easy to kind of get everything even looking. And yeah, so that is what I'm doing here, just winging out my normal eyeliner. And I love the look of really bold liner and like a pink lip, which is what we're gonna be doing today. I think that's so pretty. Also too, you can totally wear this look during the day or at night, depending on your preference or anything like that. So I love liquid liner and it can really make you look a lot more awake, make your eyes pop. That's personally why I love it. Moving on, once that is set, before we do mascara, I wanted to just apply some bronzer. Busy people don't have a ton of time, so I'm just kind of placing that wherever, blending it out as best as I can, just to warm up my complexion slightly. And I'm also applying a little bit of blush, just something neutral and kind of natural looking, I guess. So yeah applying that to the apples of my cheek and then moving on to curling my lashes. Moving 
down to mascara, I'm going to be using the new Shake It Fresh Mascara from Rimmel London. This is kind of the first of its kind. It's super unique. All you have to do is take the bottle and shake it vertically three to five times before application, and you basically get a fresh, brand new mascara every single time. It's clump-free, smudge-free volume with every application. And I really like the formula of this. The brush is really nice, and I feel like my lashes really separate and definitely no clumps or anything. And the cool thing about this, I find it, you can really build it up. It doesn't kind of clump up like some mascaras. So I'll apply a little bit, wait a few seconds, and then go in with a bunch more coats. And it kind of just like adds to the intensity. So if you like that, this mascara is really great for that. Also, I did apply it to my bottom lashes, and I love the way it looks on my bottom lashes for sure. Lately, I've really been loving liquid highlighters and I feel like this is great for busy people because you can kind of just slap it on your face and blend it out with your finger and run out the door. For the last step, I'm going to be doing my lips. So I'm going in with a pinky nude lip liner that is waterproof and then going over top of that with a darker pink liquid lipstick that dries completely matte and that is all for this look. today's video was and of course you can always subscribe to my channel here check out my previous videos over here and to let you guys know I have been vlogging on my second channel so you can check that out over here and again huge thank you to Rima London for helping me out on this video I really appreciate it and I will talk to you lovely people in my next video have a great day